Good afternoon, Deepak. Yeah, good afternoon, Bindya. How are you? How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you. And what about you? I'm doing well you? too. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Deepak. Actually, I'm from Bihar. And uh, however, I stay in Delhi. Make my living and... Uh, I'm a fitness coach by profession. Okay. I make people exercise, like keep them fit. Yes. So Wonderful. What you, where are you from? I'm from Bangalore, born and brought up in Bangalore. Nice. Okay. Great. Great. Mm. So you're a fitness coach in Delhi. Yes. Great, great, great. So if you had to give like five quick fitness tips to somebody, in the what would they be? A five. Tips quick. Mm. First of all, you have to keep your body okay in movement schedule. Wherever you are, whatever you do have, you have to keep moving your body uh, and burn more calorie. Consume uh, burn more calorie and consume less. Mm. Right. Calorie and deficit. You, Take a sleep. Yeah, take a sleep seven to eight hours a day and drink drink more and more water. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's four. So give me one last. And uh, one. Uh, eat healthy food. Last one. <laughs> eat healthy food. Right. That's great. That's great. That's fantastic. So before the lockdown, um, I was working out as well. During the lockdown, there was a break, and then I suddenly put on so much weight and now I'm just not finding the time or the inclination to go back, join and make that, you know, go back to that lifestyle. It's just not happening. Okay. And Why is it not happening? Where are you lacking? Uh, time. Time is one of the major factors and I got used to this lifestyle, you know, I'm working online and my whole schedule is set. So I'm like, okay, where do I pull out this time? And also exhaustion. So many times I'm just like, okay, I'm done. I don't have patience. But actually, uh, when I used to go to the gym, I used to look forward to it. It was my de-stress time, but I don't know. I should do it. Now that I've met you, I will I will go back and join now. Find out the time <laughs> and work on yourself. <laughs> yeah, I will do it. I'll take your advice. I'll start doing what you're saying. Okay, so today we are going to talk about uh, billionaires. Okay, <laughs> is that an interesting topic? Yes, it is. Why not? People are looking for making money. They are here and there. You are also in front of me. I'm also in front of you in order to make money. Right. So, this is interesting. So, do you want to be a billionaire? Yes. Why not? Why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Do you know any billionaires? Maybe not personally, but you know. Mm, yeah. Okay, give me I, I cannot guess he is millennial or billionaire, but I believe he is multi millionaire. Okay, one my client, one of my client, okay. he used to, uh -huh, he used to have session from me, but right now he is just um, he is inviting me on his son's wedding. <laughs> okay, wow, yeah. so he's a multi millionaire and he's your client. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. So. Tell me a little bit more. What do you think about these people? I mean, what, what is their life like? I mean, if you're a billionaire, what is your life like? Life like, uh, you know, I have seen many hard times in my life, right? So the people who has gone through hard time and if God is giving him a chance to be a billionaire, so obviously I will live, uh, you know, the dream I have I live the life, the quality I want from my life, right? So I will live luxurious life, of course. Why not? Okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> because I have gone through so many bad days mm -hmm. with my parents. So, and uh, apart from that, um, I will more focus than luxurious life. I will more focus on giving more people employment, helping mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then living luxurious life. Yes, I will live almost um, how, how quarter 
amount of my time hmm. i will focus more to how i can help more people right the people okay who need help exactly right and if i from that uh, i will try to give more and more employment right right yeah okay all right that's and, great and i have my goals these all things on my diary what desire what things i will have acquired after becoming a uh, you know whatever you say famous i do not want to be famous but i want to be wealthy i want to be rich i have this all 50 goals i have written down i think more than it would be 50 right okay but let's see up to where <laughs> my journey is going so what are you doing towards these goals as in uh, the way you said you know for us to be fit we have to get moving so for you to be a billionaire or to be whatever you dream to be what are the things that you are already doing nice question <laughs> mm, what i have to do in order to be that person right right first of all i have to you know people do not fail because they choose or decide little goal mm. they fail because no sorry i i did not say correct people sure. do not get fail to achieve in their goal because they choose no little goals because they have no chosen big goals okay if you if you see in the history of this global the people who have become millionaire billionaire okay they have got famous worldwide mm. they were very they were from you know destitute background right they were nothing mm. and because of their big thinking they are what they are right mm. now right and and uh, and if you have to achieve if you right you know if you have to achieve your goal obviously you have to break your big goals into a small small part mm. you know mm. once you are achieving your you know uh, one milestone you have to set another milestone then you have to set another milestone then another then another then another, then another. and that's how you can climb the ladder of your dream that's it. right right so yes you have to go through men you no know, opposition failures you no know, mm. bad time you know um, i what i can say A struggle sacrifice mm. people will criticize you people will you know say you insane crazy you can't do this you can't do that this is not, not this is not in your control mm. you are full still you have to believe in yourself yes right right and don't take you know, I, i don't focus what other people are saying to you focus what you are saying say to yourself wow right Very nice this is the one of the best converse, conversation you can have with yourself mm. what you are having when you are isolated in your room or anywhere what kinds of conversation you are having with yourself mm. right about your goal about your vision you about your you no know, target if that conversation is negative then mm. never ever gonna you know it help you to achieve your target if that is positive yeah. then sooner or later you will able to hit that target mm. right wonderful so, you have to isolate with the people who are on the same track mm. right you have to listen the things that can help you to achieve your goal mm. you have talk to the content the topic which can you know stimulate your confidence your energy and obviously you have to find one more a teacher good mentor mm. who is already okay achieved that goal which you want to achieve right fantastic read, read okay how people uh, how people have you know 
achieve that target how they go they gone through their lead people's biography like mm. the people who has you know got so many name and famous money and mm. business mm. that's how you can do it so do you know any billionaire like uh, you said you know one guy who is your client right so do you know a little bit about how he made it what was his journey he has actually achieved that goal right so what was his journey like do you have any idea yes uh, he, uh, i am talking about he, five years back he was his um, the income of his family was almost i think one and a half lakh per month or two lakh per month but now i think uh, more than 20 lakhs per month <laughs> oh my god how did he grow so much in such a short period of time five months before because uh, he he runs business from he is stay in india but he runs business from canada okay he got some i i don't know he might have multiple source of income but i only know that he has uh, 200 people he given employment to 200 people mm-hmm. right and okay so he had do that <laughs> Uh, wonderful so now uh, some of the things that you said right now in terms of thought flow since you're a coach right you speak mm-hmm. with a lot of energy and uh, there are two ways in which people speak okay one way is if you know if you're familiar with cricket do you enjoy cricket sorry i didn't catch you say again i do you like cricket yes yeah. i i used to like but uh, still i like yeah okay so in cricket when they hit the single runs right you just get one single run but some of them they hit the fours and the sixes which uh, cross the boundary so coaches need to speak in a way that crosses that boundary it moves people to action your words need to inspire people to move to take and to take some action right so you are speaking with energy you will be able to move people to taking action that is your strength okay that's a great thing but there are a lot of errors so now what happens is that when we are speaking with a lot of energy and strength and when we make an error right it does not sound good we are emphasizing the error so what we need to do is we need to iron out the errors but we need to keep the positive side of the speech for example your style the way that you speak is fantastic okay it will move people to take action it will be like that banda will go and join the gym tomorrow right he will move so that is your strength now how do we create uh, correct grammatical sentences how do we iron out our pronunciation mistakes how do we sound more correct okay so i'll just give you a couple of tips what i've done here in the chat box is i've put up some of the errors that i found in your speech okay okay so uh, these are just some of them they were more but uh, this is just to give you an idea of which areas we need to work on so now the first sure. sentence when you started your speech you were trying to say that um, the reason that people fail is because they set small goals they don't set big goals this is what you were trying to say i understood it but for you to say it there was a struggle involved you were wondering how do i form this sentence so you tried two three different combinations ultimately i got the idea okay i got the idea you 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 managed to communicate it to me but it could have been much simpler if you just said that the main reason people fail is because they set smaller goals they don't set big goals that's it it was just a simple sentence actually so we need to work on our sentence formation i'll give you a couple of exercises at the end of the session so that uh, you can start practicing them and then you know you can see some difference for yourself okay so then you said history of this global okay it should have been history of this globe okay so you were saying you can check in the history of this globe okay that's another error now words like opposition opportunity conversation pronunciation errors so you are saying conversation all of north india says conversation so you are not the only one they all say it that way okay so it's a wrong pronunciation even the word pronunciation is wrong it is pronunciation okay so we will refine once we refine our pronunciations we sound better okay it's the difference between maruti suzuki alto and rolls royce we are talking about billionaires we want the rolls royce so the main difference between the maruti suzuki and the rolls royce is the amount of detailing that has gone into it 
the attention to detail. So we're going to do the same with the language. We're going to focus on pronunciation, grammar, fluency, and slowly, slowly, you'll become really uh, Rolls Royce quality when it comes to English. Okay, nice. so, right? So now when you say isolate with the public, okay, what you were trying to say was that a person needs to um, be choosy about whom he spends his time with. You were just trying to say that you should surround yourself with people who think like you. Who think in the correct way, in the in the in the manner that you know leads to that environment. You were trying to say something like that. Isolate means to be away from people, to become one. So isolation means you're taking out somebody from society and keeping them separately. Okay. So for some uh, diseases like earlier when people got TB, tuberculosis, they used to take them and keep them in isolation. That means far away from the public in a place where they are all alone. So isolation with people is wrong. Um, they have so many names. Okay, so many is for counting. So I have so many chairs, I can say, because I can count chairs. But name and fame, this is not countable. Okay, so you should say I have so much, they have so much name and fame, not so many. Those are some of the uh, errors. One last one was with uh, singular, and I hope you don't mind. No, go ahead. Okay, so the last one was with uh, uh, singular and plural. So basically you said multiple source of income. It should have been multiple sources of income. Okay, so these are some of the errors in the speech today. Now, how do we fix them? Okay, so I know that a lot of people have been telling you that you need to do listening practice, listen to news, listen to music, listen to whatever. I'm just going to tell you the exact. Now, you know this very well, right? Being a fitness person, the form of the exercise, doing a push-up, anybody can do, but are you doing it correctly? Right? That's the point. If you're doing it wrongly, you'll probably hurt your back or wrist or something like that. And that's how sports injuries happen. So I'm going to do the same thing for language with you. So just listening is not enough. Okay, you need to do what we call as active listening. That means giving your 100% to it. Okay, you're listening with all your attention. And uh, when you do that, you're able to pick the pronunciations, you're able to pick the stress patterns, you're able to pick which word needs to be used where, what we call contextual learning. So just going to a dictionary and learning words is not going to help you until you use those words. So where should I use them? Which is the opportunity? So when we listen to people a lot, we can understand that, okay, this word is supposed to be used here. So some mm -hmm. of the sources that I can recommend to you is on YouTube, you have BBC English. Okay. I recommend this source a lot because it's so short and quick. Okay. You have these uh, six minute videos. Okay. You can uh, get exposed to a lot of different accents, but you are sure that they are correct. There are no grammatical mistakes in this whole uh, section of YouTube. Okay, so you're not learning a mistake. You know, learning a mistake is really bad thing. Even teaching a mistake is a bad thing. So we need to make sure that the source is good. So you listen okay. to these with your phones. And what you do is when you come across a word, for example, let me put in a word in your chat box and ask you, could you pronounce this word for me? Altrapano. Okay. Entro pronoun. Entre pronoun. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the correct pronunciation. So it's a very common word. Uh, it's the buzzword of 2023. Everyone is an entrepreneur nowadays. Okay. So uh, how do we use this correctly? Like that, we focus on the pronunciations, pick up the pronunciations of common words, uh, pick up the meaning of common words and try to include them in our speech. So this is the first exercise that I would recommend to you. And since you're already, you know, practicing a lot of speech practices, the same speech practice, um, how do I say this? Again, fitness inference to you. When we exercise in front of a mirror, why are there gyms, why are there mirrors in a gym? In order to see yourself, how you are performing. And what happens with that, according to you, on a psychological level? I'm just simply asking you. When you see yourself, you are working out. When you see you pump or get motivation, when you see that you are work. first is you can see yourself now and first so that you can check out your you no know, form is that correct or not. Second mm -hmm. thing when you see yourself, you no know, the pump and muscles 
you get motivation hmm. right right yeah and while seeing yourself if you are doing any activity and mm. seeing yourself that yeah mm. i am doing it yeah, how i am looking mm. your motivation goes up to next level exactly right. right exactly fantastic that is exactly what i was trying to drive home to you when we exercise in front of a mirror okay what is happening is that you are come to a place where you are coaching yourself you are saying that maybe my leg is not correct let me turn this sir said i have to keep it at 90 degrees you get into a conversation with yourself where you start correcting yourself this is a very healthy conversation to have and this develops people's minds and they develop great relationships with themselves so you would have noticed many people who come to you not just their bodies but even their minds and their life seems to improve after they start exercising right yes or no yeah true, i true, am true. saying this to myself <laughs> i am saying this to motivate myself get to gym get to gym get to gym okay so what are the exercise that i am recommending to you is to do the see speech practice in front of a mirror okay mm-hmm. because you are a coach because you need to talk to other people it would be nice if you can check how you look to yourself am i moving my hands right am i overdoing this gesture am i speaking this way correcting yourself and making sure that you are speaking and presenting yourself the way that you want to so any doubts deepak no that's uh, whatever you are suggesting me okay your opinion is correct i have realized that as a being fitness coach so i must you know um, what i can say i must uh, implement your suggestion right right mm mm-hmm. I think we're almost past with time. Any specific things that you would like to bring up? Any mm. doubts? Anything that I could help you with? No, I don't have any questions. <laughs> okay, great, wonderful. So tell me, uh, just a simple thing I'll ask you. Okay, as a fitness coach, what do you recommend people working out in the mornings or in the evening? Is there a difference? It's all depend on individual. Look, doing a uh, there is a saying in North India. There is no bad time to do an auspicious thing. There is no sorry. Bad time. Okay. Doing auspicious thing. Very nice. So, <laughs> if you are doing the thing that is right, don't look at that good time is there bad time. This is I get irritated people when say. What time should I eat this food? Do I eat food? Obviously, you could uh, you no know, separate the time to eat, but eat it. Don't make a choice should I eat or not or this. Eat it. At least you are doing right thing. Is not going to help you hundred percent. At least you are going to help you eighty percent, seventy percent, rather than you are not doing at all. Right. <laughs> Very nice. Fantastic. That was really good. Okay. That was. Um, it inspired me to think that this is a stupid reason. Uh, it's okay to work out at eight o'clock, right, in the night. Who cares? At least you'll get eighty percent of the benefit. Whenever you have time, you have time. Who work out? Don't care. No. Mm-hmm. Your body is the most important things that you have to live in. And if you are not taking care of it, you are thinking about. Oh, I don't have time in the morning. I should. I am not going to work out. I don't have. Then you are treating. You are misbehaving with your body. You are not respecting yourself. You're right. I I understood what you're trying to say. Definitely, I think if you see again, if I see you again next time, definitely I would have joined the gym. Okay, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Whether it's morning, evening, or night, I'm just bloody going yes. to do it. That's it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for motivating me. Okay, no problem. It's my duty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice talking to you, Deepak. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Have a Goodbye. great day. Bye. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye.